please give them a high five and say, this is interesting. <laughs> and I remember the story. Not, not too old yet. Not getting too old yet. Now, before I share the story, let me give you uh, kind of like a simple prediction what's going to happen uh, with China. Just my personal opinion. Now, people, a lot of people say, you know, made in China before it's a shame that you know, people stuff made in China, the quality's bad and what's going on, things like that. Uh, now, here's what's going on. Because just because of the sheer volume of the, the amount of business in China being done, that I suspect in the le next five to ten years, even right now it's actually a reality, but I think it would take some time for the whole world to catch on. You'll see stuff that made in China, the quality is actually superior. The quality is amazing. The king of high ticket sales, world's highest paid consultant, media celebrity, multi millionaire entrepreneur, acclaimed TEDx speaker, international best selling author, Dan Law. The knockoffs and everything they do, because just they do. I give you a very simple example. If you go to YouTube, you can search. You know, China now they have technology that they could build these like hotel buildings, right? In days, days, seven days, they put up a building. They have this type of technology just because they build so many of them. You learn through the experience. They build more buildings in a year than Bozai in here in a hundred years. You don't have to be rocket science to get good when you, when you do so many of them. Their technology, their, their people, this and that. Yeah, there is a culture difference. There's a language barrier, but you can buy all those things. And that's why you see developers now coming into Toronto, coming to Canada, coming to like to Alberta. Like that's why they're developing, they're expanding internationally and they're developing these buildings. That's why. And then the local, uh, even the local real estate developers, they say, holy shit, these guys, not only they've got money, they, they know what they're doing. They might not know the laws and all the in intricate details, but they could, they could buy all those things. But just experience-wise, they know what they're talking about. So let me share. So what I'm expecting is, I think, in not, not you know, soon in the future, yeah, China, the, the products and everything else. I know if you... You know, in the U.S. now, what's going on? I know they're trying to bring back jobs, right? Try to bring, create more jobs, and Trump is trying to do that. I mean, this is not a political discussion. I'm just saying that's what he's trying to do, right? I personally think it's going to be very hard. I think it's stupid. You know, I think it's very hard. Because by the time we think bring back jobs and this and that, these guys have already been doing it for years. Now you're playing catch up. And they find out how come they're so much more faster, more efficient. Give you a perfect example. I'll wrap it up, then we'll take a break. You know, Kickstarter campaign, right? In here... What is Kickstarter? Crowd, you know, crowdfunding, right? Yeah. Do you know? So what happens is, so an entrepreneur, I come up with an idea. I want someone to fund this. I came up with this idea. I think it's going to be a great product. I will bring it to the marketplace, but I don't have the money, right? What's going to happen is, I put up the money. I, I, I put up the, uh, 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 the thing, uh, listing on, on Kickstarter. Hopefully, I raise money to make this thing, right? Well, you know, there are Chinese companies watching all the Kickstarters. The minute you put it on, they're making this shit. By the time you finish raising the money, they're selling it already. <laughs> By the time you actually create a thing, they're selling your stuff on Amazon. <laughs> and you think you make one color, they already make four colors. That's how it is. That's why I say to you guys many, many times, fast is the new big. It's not how much you know, it's how fast you can implement. If it, from here to implementation to execution, it takes you that long, you're in trouble. You gotta shorten this. Because they, they not just copy. You can say they copy, they knock off, whatever, but they get shit done. In here, you wanna build a bridge, it takes you 10 fucking years. <laughs> we have meetings, study, survey. China? Yeah, we should build a bridge. We're building a fucking bridge. 
or you don't like it, you move. Not a perfect system, but one hell of an efficient system. One hell of an efficient system, yes. that is working on a deal in China just with this one company to sell her product over there. Yeah. It's skin cream products with yeah. very unique ingredients. Yeah. So could they just knock something like that off too? Yes. Like going to the lab and just yeah. pull it apart? And they might be knocking off while we speak. Right, okay. <laughs> because yeah. whatever ingredient, it's not unique. Yeah. They could, they, could, they could just go to a lab, just to find all the ingredients, and they would come with a different label. Okay. And then what are you gonna do? Then China gonna sue them? Okay. You know what I mean? It's just what happens, right? Yeah. Now, not all of them are like that, yeah. but chances of that lying that, it's high. Yes. So when you do a deal with Chinese, you want to make sure it's a long conversation, but you want to make sure you have some elements in a deal that you control that they cannot duplicate. Okay. That they cannot easily knock it off. Right. Certain relationship that you have that they cannot copy. Okay. Certain elements that you have that they cannot copy. That's something that only you control. What would be an example of something in that situation? So let's say it's a technology. Yeah. If you control the technology, yeah. well, yeah, don't give them the whole thing. Just you control right. the technology. Yeah. But they're right? probably just going to ship the product over there, right, as yeah. it is. That's why you don't want to do that. Okay, all right. Yeah. You, don't want, you don't just want to give them to, to do that. Okay. Now, if, example, yeah, Jenny, Jenny's, go ahead, go ahead come. <laughs> no, no, go, go to the mic first. She's the... A fluent Chinese consultant, it's good. <laughs> ask her, don't ask me, ask her. So for Chinese company, even though for company here that are doing business, they're thinking, so the money I have to buy you out or the money I have to invent myself in China, yeah. which costs more. Yeah, they're gonna do might be better to just sell, sell it off. They're gonna weigh it out. Exactly. Yeah. No, they'll weigh it out. So you say they buy you out costs like two times more or maybe 10% more, okay. they wouldn't even do that. Okay. And I'll give you another, another example, I'll wrap this up. Let's say um, it's an advantage for them to use your label. Let's say you sell maple syrup. Mm -hmm. It's much better off when say it's made in Canada right. and having your brand yeah. and our manufacturer, our partner is in Canada shipping this stuff to China. Because right. the damn honey and maple syrup in China, I don't trust your shit, yeah. right? So that to them is an advantage. Okay. They're not gonna fuck that up. Okay. Or wine, right? Okay. Or even now, you know, the baby food product. The affluent one, they don't want to buy baby food product in China because it's all, they're all poisons, right? right. So, but they want to buy things over. They like it, it's overseas. Okay. They like it, it's high quality. They don't want, made in China, no. My base is taking this, I don't want, oh. Canadian partner, American partner, awesome. Okay. All day long, right? Right, so it's just vetting, trying to vet it out. To yeah, them. you want to make sure you have, like do not just say, here's my product, because yeah. they will pitch you. Oh man, you're selling how much in here? Our market is 100 times bigger. I've got all these connections. Okay. Give me the product. We're going to sell 100 times more, and you're going to make all this money. I'm going to send you a check, and you don't have to do anything. It's great, right? Okay. No. So red flag, basically. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. You've been watching my videos for some time now, and you might be wondering, Dan, how do I go to the next level, or how could I be mentored by you? Here's what I want you to do. My very first assignment to see if you qualify. I want you to go to fumoney.com to download a copy of my book. You can't even do that, I cannot be your mentor. The second step is after you download my book, I want you to read it. And you also get an invitation to register for, for one of my upcoming webinars. I want you to register and show up for that webinar. During the webinar, I go through all the details of how you can possibly be mentored by me. Go there right now, fumoney.com.